Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today I will be cooking something that I have been craving for about a whole week now, and I finally had time to go to the store and get all the ingredients. Today I will be cooking some spare barbecue, spare ribs, and my homemade mac and cheese. Yep, been craving barbecue ribs and mac and cheese. I'm telling you, it's like every time I have barbecue anything, barbecue chicken, barbecue whatever, barbecue wings, I have to have mac and cheese with it. I don't know what it is about that barbecue and mac and cheese combination, but okay, y'all. Anyway, anyway, okay, let's get back to focus, girl. Hey, I hope all is well. Um, I pray all is well in everybody's life. Um, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good, yes. Oh. Um, make sure you guys go in the description box, click on that link to my second channel. That is my spiritual journey channel. Make sure you guys go over there and show me some love and support. Just talking about my walk with Christ, living for God. I am a child of the King. So let's get into the cooking. All right, like I said, uh, let me show you guys my uh, spare ribs that I have here. This is just uh, I got from Publix. Publix had it on sale. I got this for like 20 bucks. It's a full rack of ribs. Uh, you know, they're more like baby back, but y'all know what I mean. And um, so I just took my um, rack and I just cut it in half. As you guys can see, um, yeah, ooh, that's a good shot. You guys can see. I've got it marinating down in my sauce and my seasons. And let me show you guys when I flip that meat over that's marinating down in there. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. Oh, my goodness look at that it's been sitting and marinating in that sauce oh and my um seasonings oh i cannot wait to cook it i am so ready to eat right now but yes so i've got the four Publix mexican four cheese blend it is the let me get my hands cleaned up hold on y'all okay so i can show y'all properly hopefully my light is good all right, so we have the Publix Mexican Four Cheese Blend. This is what I'm going to be using today for my mac and cheese. I'm starting to try to, you know, venture out into using other cheeses besides just the sharp cheddar and the regular cheddar shredded. Just trying to mix it up, you know, do something different, you know, change it up. All right, so this is the Mexican Four Cheese Blend. It is the Monterey Jack Cheddar, I'm sorry, Monterey Jack Cheddar, Asadero, and Queso, Quesadilla Cheeses. Yeah, so it's like a little Mexican blend. I think that's gonna be really good with the mac and cheese. So that's what I'm using today. And Publix had this on sale. Finally, I've been wanting this sauce. This is the, uh, y'all know the famous chef Guy Ferry. Uh, it is his um, honey barbecue sauce. I've been waiting for it to go on sale. Publix had to buy one, get one. So I had to get it. And I'm doing something new. I'm telling you guys, I'm doing different things with my mac and cheese. Today, I'm gonna be using the Ziti Rigatti. The Ziti Rigatti noodles. Ziti Ricotti. Yep. A different noodle you see on the box. It is a different noodle. I've never made my mac and cheese with this noodle. But today, y'all gonna see. That's my oven. It's all nice and hot for me. But y'all gonna see today. Like, this is my first time cooking with these noodles, the mac and cheese. This is my first time using this cheese. Gotta do something different. Gotta rent y'all. Gotta change things up. That's what I'm telling myself, y'all. That's the word of the day. Change things up. Stop doing the same old thing. Yeah. That's what God been speaking to me about. But anyway, go over to my spiritual channel for more of that. Um, so I've got my pan over here. Let's get right into the cooking since my oven is nice and preheated. Let's get into the cooking. First, let's get the ribs set up. And I'm gonna be cooking my ribs in the oven. That aluminum foil is really reflecting my light really bad, guys. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on, let me move this pot. Killing my light, okay. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, that's better. All right, good. Okay, so you see I've got my pan. Um, I've got aluminum foil on the bottom of my pan, and you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna spray my aluminum foil because I don't want my ribs sticking to my aluminum foil. So I am gonna spray it to keep the, uh, once again, to keep the ribs from sticking to the aluminum foil when they cook up. So I sprayed that a little bit. Let me get my ribs out. Just gonna lay them in my pan, nothing special. No special way. Just laying them in there. Ooh, that sauce. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, just gonna lay them in there like that, nothing fancy. And of course, my um, 
rest of my goodness, my sauce and everything, I'm just going to pour that over the top. Those are all our seasonings and everything, all the juices. Oh yeah, we pouring all that in there because we need all that. We need all that. Just pouring all that on there. Oh, doesn't that look so good? I'm so ready. I am so ready. Okay, so you guys see, let me, let me take you in a little bit so you can see what's going on. So, simple. Nothing all extra. I just poured that extra juice in there. And I'm just going to take my aluminum foil and I'm going to wrap these up. I'm going to tuck that in real good. Seal that on the side over there. Remember, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to cook these for about an hour. Yep, usually takes my stove an hour, which is fine because we've got to make that mac and cheese and get that mac and cheese cooked. Now, once I get the mac and cheese uh, all mixed up, I'll come back and show you guys my little quick, easy macaroni and cheese recipe. Once I get that all made up and I get my mac and cheese all panned up, I'm going to put it in the oven with my uh, ribs. Everything's going in the oven together. Everybody's going to be cooking together. Everybody's going to get along. Yeah, that's how I do it. The mac and cheese and the ribs are going to be cooking together. Everybody is going to be cooking together. I'm going to fold these sides down to make sure I seal in these ribs. I'm telling you, I've cooked my ribs like this so many times and they are so good. They come out so good and juicy. That's why I'm wrapping them up so they can come out all nice and juicy. Now I'm going to leave them in here wrapped up for about an hour so they can cook. And then of course, I'm going to take the top of the aluminum foil off and, you know, put it back in the oven. You guys will see. Put it back in the oven. I'll show you guys how I do it. So, but just real quick, uh, I'm going to let this cook for an hour and then I'm going to come take the top off and then, you know, this should be nice and done and juicy. And then I'm going to take that barbecue sauce, put it across the top and put it in the oven so that barbecue sauce can bake all down in those ribs. Yes. I'll probably put it back in for about maybe about 15 minutes, maybe 20. We'll see. But, because we want that barbecue sauce to bake all down in that meat. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so ready to eat, y'all. All right, so, we've got the meat already. Um, so, let me get that in the oven. And then I'll come back and show you guys how we're going to whip up this mac and cheese. I'm going to go ahead and get the noodles cooked. And then I'll come back and show you guys how I throw together my famous mac and cheese that my family and friends always want me to bring to the family functions and the friend functions and all of that good stuff. So, I'll be back to show you guys quick and easy recipe. Okay guys, I'm back. Let me show you guys my quick, uh, one of my recipes. I have about four, but this is one of the quick and easiest ways I make my mac and cheese. Still tastes like I've been, it's been taking all day to make. It still tastes great. So this is the one that I cook the most, you know, quick and easy, it still tastes great. So, all right, I just poured my noodles out the pot. Nice and fresh and hot. I like working with hot noodles. I like my noodles to be nice and hot. All right, gonna put some butter in here. I'm gonna say about, for measurement purposes, I'm gonna say half a cup of butter. Half a cup of butter. Don't wanna do too much butter. Half a cup of butter. Let's get that in the noodles. The noodles will melt that butter. So I like to let the noodles melt my butter all the way down. Make sure my noodles get all coated with the butter. And like I said, guys, this is my first time using these uh, this particular pasta. I'm a little nervous, not sure how it's gonna come out, but I'm excited at the same time. So, I hope it comes out well. Um, yeah, so, let's get that butter all mixed in. Let me make sure you guys can see. Let me bring you guys in a little bit more. Yep, okay. All right, using that hot pasta to melt my butter down. Uh, I do it this way to make sure all my pasta it's going to have that butter flavor in it as well, you know. So once my butter gets all melted down to pretty much nothing, you guys can see I've got like a little speck of butter left in there. I like to pour my milk. I start out with one about one cup of, of milk. One cup of milk. All right, and I just mix it up, coat my pasta with it real good with the milk. I am using lactate. You guys know uh, we are a lactose intolerant family. Sometimes I use regular milk, just whatever I'm in the mood for and whatever I have. But today we'll be using the lactate. 
uh, using the Lacte brand. This is really good. Publix usually has them on sale two for eight, so I like to grab it when it's on sale because lactate milk is very pricey. It's about seven bucks for this milk, so I like to grab it when Publix has it on sale two for eight. So y'all know I am a Publix girl. All right, so we've got the milk in there. Now I'm gonna put my cheese in. Just gonna pour some cheese in here. You guys, oh, and this bag is a 32 ounce two pound bag of cheese so i'm just going to put half of the bag in there now just half of it and that box of pasta is the 16 ounce box all right just going to mix this in like that quick and easy mac and cheese sometimes people overthink mac and cheese i don't i know it's not that serious as people try to make it uh you know make your mac and cheese how you make it but i'm just showing you guys how i make my quick and easy mac and cheese and I'm telling you, my family and friends, they love my mac and cheese. Love it. Everybody always wants me to bring it to the family functions and stuff. So, and my friends always want me to bring it. So, and it's, it's easy. It's not complicated. It's not overthought. All right. So, we got half of the cheese in. And the reason why I put my eggs in after is because I don't want to put these eggs in uh, hot noodles. Because you know what you're going to get. You're going to get scrambled eggs. So I always wait to get it cooled down before I add the eggs. I'm adding two large eggs, two regular eggs, whatever eggs you got. Regular eggs, large eggs. I just do two eggs. Of course, you guys know that egg is going to help hold your mac and cheese together. All right, I'm going to mix that up real good. Make sure I get that egg mixed in real good around my pasta, my cheese. And then, of course, we're going to pour the rest of that cheese in here because, as I can see, I need that other bag of cheese. I mean the rest of the cheese in here I definitely need it so let's get this mixed in real good I'm gonna put the rest of the cheese in and then I'll see if I need to add that second cup of milk because usually I use two cups of milk but remember this is my first time cooking with these uh, rigatti ziti rigatti pasta so I'm just filling my way through with this one and that's how it is sometimes as a cookie just fill your way through all right, we've got that mixed up. Let's go ahead and add the other half of this cheese in here. The other half of the bag. All right. Looks good. Let me make sure you guys can see what I am doing. Okay. All right. So, let's get that cheese all mixed up. Looking good, smelling good. right looks good I think it'll be good I think it's gonna turn out great I like uh, my mac and cheese we love our mac and cheese cheesy we like more cheese than pasta but I don't overdo it you don't want to overdo it you know where it's just too cheesy to even taste the pasta nah but we do like our mac and cheese cheesy hello that's mac and cheese all right Okay, got that all nicely mixed in. We do need more milk because it's looking a little dry. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more milk. Let me see, that's about half a cup. Let me see if I'm gonna need that other half. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's see. All right. Looking good, looking good. other half of milk mm. yeah I am I'm gonna add the rest of this milk all right so that's two cups of milk like I said these are new pastas that I'm cooking with I've never cooked mac and cheese with these pastas so I'm just kind of filling my way through with this so that's two cups of milk for this as well all right that's good because my mac and cheese uh, always takes about two cups of milk so two cups of milk for this as well it's looking really good. Mix that milk up. Now, let's add my salt and pepper. This one is gonna be the easy one. I'm not adding a lot of seasons. Season your mac and cheese however you choose to season it. Uh, but this particular mac and cheese, uh, I'm gonna do a little pepper. Just a little bit of pepper. I don't wanna do too much. Just a little sprinkle of pepper. And then my salt. 
just a little bit of salt not too much because the cheese is already you know the cheese already has its own salt flavor you know you don't want to do too much so that's about half a tablespoon of salt and half a tablespoon of pepper don't want to do too much but that salt and pepper you know adds flavor of course like I said, season your mac and cheese however you choose to season it. Some people do uh, all kinds of seasons. You know, Old Bay. I've, I've got all kinds of recipes where I use paprika, Old Bay, uh, garlic, onion, uh, some of the Tabitha Brown seasons. Just however you choose to do it. I'm just showing you guys the quick and easy way today. All right, that's looking good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this. Give me a second, guys. Let me get my pan. I'll be using my, uh-oh, whoa. Anyway, I'll be using my Pioneer Woman dish today for the mac and cheese. I love it. It is so pretty. And we want to spray it. Spraying it with my Pam original. You guys know how much I love that Pam. Spraying my dish so that my mac and cheese does not stick. And I usually just take my hand and just, you know, kind of coat the pan. Make sure the pan gets coated on all sides. You know. Yep, that's what I do. Quick and easy. All right, and let's get our pasta poured in. I've got the oven already preheated to 400 degrees, guys. You know I've got those ribs in there, so the ribs are already in there cooking up. Let me get this pasta poured in here. I'm going to put this mac and cheese in the oven as well. Uh, I'm going to leave the oven at 400 degrees with the ribs in there and I'm going to cook this pasta. Uh, like I said, it's new pasta, so I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and do it for about, I'm going to do it for about, I normally do my mac and cheese for about 30 minutes. Um, but with these pastas, they're bigger than usual. So I'm going to go ahead and do it for 45 minutes. Put my timer on 45 minutes. I'm spreading that cheese around, making sure my cheese is evenly spread out throughout the pasta. All right. So we've got it all down in here. Let me shake my pasta to make sure it's all nicely even down in that pan. All right. So we've used that bag of cheese. Give me one second. Let me grab some more cheese. Okay. I do have mozzarella and I have mild cheddar. I'm gonna go with the mild cheddar across the top. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of it. I don't wanna put too much, but I do wanna put some across the top. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit, just a little bit. Not too much, because we've already got, you know, that uh, four cheese blend in there. So we don't wanna mess it up too much with this cheddar. But I do want that cheese crust across the top. So we're just doing a little bit. I'm not gonna do the full bag like I usually do across the top. That's it, we'll just leave it at that. Um, give me a second, I need to get some green across the top. It's looking a little, very, very pale. And y'all know I am not with that pale. Let me find my parsley in my cabinet. I tell you, I got so many seasons in here. Okay, there's my parsley. All right, let me bring y'all in so y'all can see what's going on with the mac and cheese. Bring it in. We're going to bring it out a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to put a little parsley across the top, just a little bit to give it some color. Because I'm telling you, it's real pale right now. Let's do a little greenery across the top. That's it. Nothing major. All right, take y'all in real quick. We are going to add our mac and cheese to the spare ribs that are cooking in the oven. And um, like I said, 400 degrees. I'm gonna cook this for about 45 minutes, guys. So we can get it all nice and brown across the top and so that cheese can melt in those noodles inside the uh, pasta and everything. So that's it, quick and easy mac and cheese. Don't overthink it. And I'm telling you, this mac and cheese tastes like it took me hours to make it but and prep it. But y'all saw, we did it in like, what, five minutes? So that's it, guys. Uh, let me go ahead, get the mac and cheese in the oven. And hey, I'll be back with the barbecue ribs. I'm gonna pull those out, show you guys how I coat those with the honey barbecue sauce. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have our barbecue ribs out of the oven. I took the top off. Uh, they were cooking for an hour. 
and they look delicious. All right. Okay, they are done. Well done. Now, um, let me cut my thing off. All right, now, um, I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on one, but not the other, because my uh, daughters don't really like barbecue sauce, so. All right, I'm just gonna put the the Guy Fairy's uh, honey barbecue sauce. I taste it, it's pretty good. Now, just so you know, this honey barbecue has uh, more of a honey taste than barbecue. The barbecue flavor is there, but this is really what it says. You know how you get that honey barbecue sauce and it's barbecue sauce with a little hint of honey? No, no, no. This has a very strong honey flavor, just so you know. You're not gonna get all the barbecue and a little bit of honey, so. Oh my goodness, my battery is going dead, guys. Give me a minute and let me change my battery. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Okay. All right, and as you can see, those are all the nice juices, you know, that has cooked out of our meat, the juiciness. So our meat is done, it is ready. You can just eat it like this if you want. But of course, like I said, I'm gonna be adding the barbecue sauce on this one, not that one, because you know, my uh, two daughters don't really like barbecue sauce like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and coat this one with the barbecue sauce. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Put it back in the oven. That mac and cheese is looking really good. I'm gonna coat this really, really good. Okay. All right. That's enough. Don't do too much, girl. You gotta do too much. I'm gonna try that barbecue sauce on some red on some um wings and see how that tastes so all right i'm gonna go ahead guys get this back in the oven and i'll be back to show you guys the grand finale i think i'm gonna go ahead and um separate my ribs i think i'm gonna go ahead and cut them apart yeah i think i'm gonna do that but let me go ahead and get the ribs back in the oven guys and i'll be back Okay guys, we are back for that grand finale. Let me take you guys into that mac and cheese. As you can see, it looks delicious. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The mac and cheese turned out really, really well. Uh, these new pastas, hey, just like my regular pasta, not that much of a difference. So looks good, turned out good. And you know, I like that four cheese idea. Gives it a different flavor. So yeah, the mac and cheese turned out really, really nice. All right, and over here to our barbecue ribs. You guys can see, I did put the uh, broiler on so it can kind of roast across the top. Take y'all into that back piece back there with no barbecue sauce. Looks delicious, yes. Looks so good, even the barbecue one. I am gonna cut, you know, cut them up, of course. So. All right, guys, I'm tired. All right, you seen me do it? So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to go in the description box, click on that link to my second channel. That is my spiritual journey over there. Just talking about my life, living for Christ. Um, and make sure you guys follow me on all my social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. Uh, all at Arika Misha. Thanks, guys.